I'm going to teach you how to install OBS plugins on your PC for 2020. Let's go! If you're new to my channel, I provide information on OBS Studios and other software programs that run on an IBM PC to help you along with video production for YouTube. I also provide some tips and tricks and marketing strategy for the venue. So if you're interested in growing at this venue, you have come to the right place. Join me and let's grow together. Yes! OBS Studios is an open source program, which means that the code has been developed by an army of programmers who have created plugins and improvements out of the pure love of the software. This makes the program 100% free and more powerful than most commercial solutions available on the market. The programmer's culture at OBS Studio can sometimes make assumptions that can make some parts of the program a little bit difficult to understand from the new user's perspective, and that is where I come in. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go to the website, let's go there now, obsproject.com, we're gonna click Forum, and then we're gonna click Resources. This is where you can find all the plugins, the themes, the tools, the scripts, all the cool add-ons that make the program amazing. We're gonna go into OBS Studios, plugins. and uh, I'm gonna install a plugin called Move Transitions. It's a fairly new plugin, and I'm just going to help you understand the process, how, how you do this, because there's some little parts of it that are a little bit funky. I'll make it easy, here we go. The following is a common way to manually install an OBS plugin. It is not the way, it is a common way. If you're having trouble installing a plugin, let me know in comments, and maybe I can make you a tutorial about it. Now, when downloading the installation files, I just wanna make something clear because for some, this might be confusing. Don't download the files from the source code URL. That is the GitHub location. That is where the developers are actually working on the software. You wanna to go to the white button that says download. That is where you wanna download the zip file for the installation. That may trick a couple people, it tricked me one time. So after downloading the zip file by clicking the white download button, let's take a look at the instructions. The instructions say, unzip the download in the OBS folder. For example, it could reside, this is the program folder that holds the OBS install files. It could reside in either the program files folder or the program files x86 folder. So you have to find out where it is by going into the Explorer and finding out where that actually resides. The folder is called OBS-Studio, okay? Upon you finding out where it's installed, the instructions say to take the zip file that you just downloaded and move it into that folder and expand it. Now, you may get this prompt upon you expanding it, which I believe means that you do not have permission to expand zip files in program folders. So instead of pulling your hair out and trying to figure out why that is happening, what I would recommend that you do is expand the zip file in your downloads folder and open up a window showing that structure and then open up another window showing the location of the OBS-Studio folder and comparing the two. Let's do that right now. At this point in time, I would like you to make sure that the OBS program is turned off. If you don't do that and you make these changes, then you'll be like going in the comments and screaming at me because the changes haven't taken place. You have to have the program go out and re-grab the files to show the changes. So always make sure that the program's turned off. Let's open up the two windows that I have here. One window shows the path to the OBS program itself. And then I have another window here showing the downloads folder. So I've opened up the plugin folder, which is called move-transitions. That's the name of the plugin. And the contents of the plugin folder are data and OBS plugins. This is the roadmap to help you show you where to copy the files into the actual program folders. Because if you look in the program files x86 OBS-studio folder, that's the working folder that contains the program, there is a data folder and an OBS plugins folder. So let's open up the plugins folder on the left in the downloads folder. We'll open it up. Okay, there's another folder called 64-bit. We'll open that up as well. And lo and behold, there is a DLL and a PBD. These are actual program files that we need to copy over. So I will go into the OBS plugins folder on the program side, click 64-bit there. And as you can see, there's all kinds of crazy plugins already in there. I will take these two and I will copy it and go back in here and paste and it's going to want to know I'm, they're already in there i'll just hit replace it's going to want to make sure that you have that you want to continue with administrative rights you hit continue and 
they go over no problem okay let's go back to the main folder on the download side okay and let's get back out here by hitting OBS okay go into OBS studio okay now we have a data folder as well so we'll double click that on the download side OBS plugins we'll click it again and there's the move dash transaction or transition folder go into the program side OBS plugins is the folder and there's all kinds of crazy stuff in there so I know that's where it needs to go and I will copy that and paste it in the program folder replace continue continue as an admin now there's a bunch of folders in there there we go and then it moved so now technically we should be ready to see the actual update to the program so let's open up OBS and see if it's in there yep it's working I made three frames I'm sorry three scenes I should say with some memes and a video background and let's see and in the scene transitions there is a plus sign and there lo and behold there's a, a new button called move which allows me to assign movement to these scenes there they go so as I click the scenes now I have this slick smooth scrolling motion between each scene pretty slick huh so it works